from assistance. You met her before the world knew who she was. What kind of girl was Michelle A back in the day? And, and what changes did you notice after she made it big and started having babies by Suge and Dr. Dre? She was quiet as a church mouse, uh, very shy, um, a little thicker than what she is. I lot thicker than what she is now, but she was cute thick, you know, a little short, thick, thick cutie pie with, with the dimples and the whole nine yards, a little squeaky ass voice. And uh, she didn't say have, have a whole lot to say, but she sang her ass off. And uh, that's why I, I picked her up, gave her a jersey, put her on my team. But, um, you know, at some point in time, she threw the jersey off and got traded. And the name been right since. Yeah. Some say that that was one of the main reasons Dr. Dre left Death Row Records was because of the relationship with Suge Knight. I've, I've heard that uh, on various occasions. Um, yeah, I've heard that on various occasions. Again, dude, um, I just, that, that was a part of hip hop that I didn't really, I wasn't that enthused about because it could go left at any given moment. As you can see, I mean, different lives were affected in negative ways behind that. And uh, that's the advantage of being a little bit smarter than the average, a little bit more experienced. I ain't gonna say it's a little bit of experience in the average cat. You see bullshit coming a long way off. When you've dealt with as much bullshit as I have in my life, dealing with six clubs, um, multiple parties, events, people around the country, around the world, you know bullshit. Here come a shit duck. And that's just something you that's something that's, that's a skill you develop over time. O'Shea Green wants to know, Lonzo, did you know Millie Jackson? Nah, man, I had a chance to meet her one time. That's a crazy chick. I love her, though, because she 100. She 100. She likes you. I think I, I fuck you. Heard <laughs> <laughs> tell the guy, yeah. That's the I, ultimate compliment. Yeah. That's the ultimate compliment, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah you kind of cute. I'd fuck, oh, yeah, I'd fuck him. Yeah. And then, but, but that was her act, okay? You know, Millie Jackson had, and people are, oh, Millie Jackson was, that. Millie Jackson was nasty and fuck, but her records, it, when she made her her record, it was always insinuating shit. She never said nothing. She always, but I, well, on the album cut, she said what was on her mind, okay. But on the on the radio cuts, and people keep forgetting everything at one point in time was not meant for the radio. You had your album cuts. You had your radio. You had your album cuts. You had your radio cuts. Okay. You had the stuff you did in the concert. Stuff you did for the radio. And if you know, I don't think she even did a lot of bleeping. Cause she knew that she wasn't gonna fly on the radio, but she was saying in concert, she, you knew what she was thinking when she said certain things. Okay, you knew what she was thinking, but back then you had to have a certain amount of, of decorum that you was you just couldn't blurt out blurt out things because your ass wouldn't get played on the radio. And that's why gigs were so important because you can be as nasty as you want to in a gig and people love you. Okay. And that just makes it, it makes it much more fun. But you give them every, that's like somebody walk through the house naked all the time. If you see, see somebody naked all the time, after a while, they ain't going through you no more. I saw that last week in the same titty, same ass, same everything. Ah, right, cool. Speaking of radio, wasn't there a uh, song that you kind of got hell for back in the day? Because it had one word in it that was, would totally fly today. But it, it was, uh, you said we had, something. We had a song uh, called Doggy Style. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. It was doggy style. We had some, it wasn't my song. It was another song. I was working with these guys and uh, it was called doggy style and a good ass song, good ass song. And the same week we dropped the song was the same week magic came out with H it was HIV positive and KGLH pulled all, um, all sexually, um, in a sexually in the window, in sexually suggestive records off the radio, and the record died. It just died. Wow! And then one of the guys who um, made the song got killed. And it just man, it's just it was just a hell of a time, dude. Hell of a time. Yep. Damn, man. 
telling you get the real history right here on Not Without Alonzo. Before you guys bounce out of here, please make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, just give it a smash. It's anonymous. We're not going to get a notification that you hit the like button, but it does help us out. We really need you to do that and share the show as well. Tell a friend about it. If you know anyone who loves hip hop, who loves Easy e who loves Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, they want to know the story of the real West Coast hip hop. Please share the story uh, or share the channel with them. Uh, what's coming up next for you, Lonzo? Oh, Doc. Um, shoot. Me and Dre on Friday. My gig's coming up. I'm waiting on the city council to get back in session so they can vote on this easy street so we can start this party, baby. Try to start this party. And Eve after dark, January 2024. How crazy is that? Man. I never thought I'd hear that. I didn't either. I didn't, I didn't think I did. I would, man, but the Super Bowl made things so... So, like, dude, we'd be stupid not to, okay? We'd be stupid not to. We got the the building is still there. People looking for it. I get calls right now. Uh, There's a place in Compton called the Compton Shop. Everything Compton is in there. Uh, T-shirts, hoodies, whatever you want. Centennial Compton High School, Dominguez High School. And people come from all over the world to buy memorabilia at the Compton Shop. And my friend runs a Compton shop. She calls me up. I thought somebody wants to speak to you. I've spoken to people in the last past man, five months, about 15 calls, all different accents from around the world. Literally, people from around the world have ca- called. Hey, Lonzo, I was a good. I, I heard your music. I just love your music. Now, too bad I can't meet you. But I'm here from Ireland. I'm here from England. I'm here from Germany. I'm here from whatever. And they want to come see what Compton has to offer. And that's what I'm doing at the Compton, with the Compton Entertainment Chamber of Commerce. I'm giving them something to come look at. You're going to have Easy Street. You're going to have a monument. You're going to have a, a walk of fame at some point in time. And they're going to be Eve after dark. That'll keep you busy for a day. And you are not lying, Lonzo. And you know what? It's now, after the Super Bowl last year, it can honestly officially be called the world famous Eve after dark. World famous. So I, think it's a great, I think it's a great idea. World famous Eve After Dark, and we're gonna decorate it with some memorabilia, some some mur- murals on the outside. It's gonna be something to be proud of. It's gonna be something to visit. And if you come to LA, let's go by Eve After Dark, just like people go to Roscoe's. Yeah, let's go by Eve After Dark, see what they got. We're gonna have a, we, we got we got a liquor license, so we're gonna have some 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 signature drinks, uh, some signature menus, you know. And it's it's gonna be something, man. That, that we plan on making it something that grown people can come to and enjoy the videos, the music of our our time. Okay, and that's we got a whole lot of music, Doc. We got a whole lot of music. We got a, we got the best too. We got the best. That's real talk. Awesome, man. Always a pleasure, man. Always chat room. Thank you very much for tuning in, folks. See y'all next week, God willing. Everybody who dropped something in the chat in the in the super chat, much love to you, folks. We can use it all the time. In the meantime, folks, this is Lonzo the Godfather, West Coast Hip Hop. For those of you, gotta, you, who you gotta heard exit me, the you gotta exit the correct way, my man. For those who never heard of me, I'm the first one to put Dr. Dre in the surgery. I put Ice Cube in the freezer until it got cold. I own the Eve After Dark center, center stage Super Bowl. For those who don't know my history, oh, for those who don't know my, my those who don't know my history goes further than you will ever know. Just remember that NWA stands for Not Without Alonzo. All right, folks. Peace. Peace.